Gillespie. And a loose touch there from Mickey Devlin. Here's Chifchi looking to punish Akis. It's still Nadia Chifchi. Dundee United ahead after 17 minutes. Nadia Chifchi takes full advantage. How well did he finish that? McKinnon. Oh, good run this by Darian McKinnon. Imri. And a miss hit. And it comes to Antoine Courier. Aki's are level. 11 minutes after going behind. Mikel Antoine Courier. Coolly finishing off after the mistake by Callum Morris. Tony Andrew. Oh, and it's gone in. It sneaked underneath Radoslav Czerniak, a speculative effort. It was swinging to the right. It didn't bounce at all. Mackay Stephen. For you! It's now 2-2. And the big pole strikes again. Scored against St Mirren in their last outing. Raven, he's past his man. Now on to Watkins, Mackay, nice touch. Raven, this is good play, it's Doran. And it keeps on getting better and better for Inverness, Caledonian Thistle. Aaron Doran with his third goal of the season. Higginbotham, got something on it to Doolan, and now Stevenson opens it up. It's Lawless, cuts in on the left, Lawless! Partick Thistle, our level, and what a brilliantly taken goal by Stephen Lawless. What a way to respond. Higginbotham to drift one towards Osman, who climbed really well. Well, Inverness hadn't conceded a goal before today. They've now conceded two in the space of four minutes. And it's Abdul Osman with his first goal for Partick Thistle. Bannigan. Osman. He's had a very composed game to add to his goal. Stevenson. Nicely on. Here's Lawless. It's a good play this by Thistle. Higginbotham. Oh, what a goal. A quite brilliant finish from Callum Higginbotham. Almost as good as his strike here against Hamilton a few weeks ago. Chris Commons in the corner, in towards Denier. Now Ambrose! Celtic are in front early on, seven minutes played. It was Ambrose with the volley, and it looks to have come off Jason Denier. Ambrose hit it, and it's come off the thigh of the Belgian, and he has his second goal for the club, although he didn't know too much about it. The Celtic started so well in that first half, but didn't really build on it. It's a while since they've won four games without a victory for Ronnie Dyla's side. Ambrose, McGregor made a clever move into the space. Oh, now Commons in space. And they have their second goal just 25 seconds into the second half. McGregor really was the architect. His run opened up the opportunity. His pullback supplied Chris Commons with his second goal of the season thanks to a deflection of Shea Logan. Celtic now look comfortable again space for Shea Logan to measure across dummies it onto the left foot Considine good willy it's game on now Aberdeen right back in it Logan with a good cross to the back post Considine beat Ambrose, and it was a clever header across goal 
for Goodwillie to net his first goal for Aberdeen. McLean comes deep to pick it up, but it's a good tackle by Connolly, and then a very good ball through to the substitute, Robbie Muirhead. Muirhead cuts back onto his right. And at long last, Kilmarnock find the back of the net. It's taken over an hour. Robbie Muirhead's only been on for seven minutes of those. And didn't he finish it well? Good win out to McGinn, and it was a heavy touch. But Connolly could be in trouble here. McGinn, like a terrier, and he's nicked it back. It's John McGinn, and there's Drury. St Mirren have their first Premiership goal of the season. And it's Adam Drury, the youngster on loan from Manchester City. But didn't John McGinn do well to set it up? Klingon. Connolly! And Kilmarnock are ahead again. Just eight minutes left to play, and it's Mark Connolly. He has his first goal for the club. A bullet header rose above Tesselar. And Kilmarnock can smell the three points now. Vigers left footed. Wonderful strike. And against his former club, Ian Vigers curls Motherwell in front. Their first goal since the opening day. Brilliantly controlled set play. Well, both sides are so desperate for the points here. Irwin goes up. Here's Sutton. Oh, John Sutton with a rare strike. He certainly enjoys it against Ross County. That's six goals in his last four games, and it is certainly not the bounce effect that Jim McIntyre was expecting in his first game. What a goal by John Sutton. A looping volley, left-footed. Reguero had no chance. Irvin. Carey now. Carey fires it across, and Ross County are back in it. Liam Boyce. Three goals in six games since he joined the club. Carey did really well down the left. Boyce had a tap in. And with 12 minutes left to play, Ross County are right back in this. Roberts to take the corner for Dundee. Ferry headed back by McAllister. And there's Conrad's. Well, Gary Harkins was in the middle too. Dundee are ahead. McAllister back in. Conrad surely with the last touch on that. It looks like the Germans' goal to me. 